So you're going through some hard times. Everything feels as if it's crumbling around you. You have your faith, but it feels as if that's not enough. You have your family showing you support, but that's still not enough. Well, this week on Motivation and Confidence, we're going to tell you three things you can do to get through hard times. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. And as always, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for all the comments I see from you guys. Um, Thank you for following on Instagram. Thank you for uh, hitting me on Twitter, um, for leaving comments on YouTube. I really appreciate all the support. Um, If you'd like to further support, um, you could always buy some merch or join the Patreon community. I think it's like $1 to join if you like. If not, a comment or a like button or a share button is just as much uh, appreciated. So I know in speaking to some of you that you're going through a very difficult time. And all of us face a lot of challenges. And... I want to share with you a story of when I was going through one of the most challenging moments in my life, of several, Um, but the one that sits in the front of my mind is when my mom and my grandma were sick at the same time, and I had quit a job that I didn't like. I just didn't like the environment. I didn't like the culture. I didn't like what it represented. So I walked away. And I thought that walking away was going to take away the the, the anger that I felt, take away the stress that I was feeling. But I didn't think about, because I didn't have a plan in place, I didn't think about what was going to happen on the back end after the little bit of money that I had ran out. So I did have a little bit of money saved, and during that time, my grandmother was, still is, paralyzed half her body, and my mom was a caregiver for her mom, which was my grandmother. Then my mom got sick, and she had some sort of sciatic or sciatica nerve, a pinched nerve or something like that, to where she could... Like sporadically, she couldn't walk, like she couldn't get out of bed. So now I had to find a way to take care of both, well, all of my family, my wife and kids, my mom, and my grandmother. And that consisted of, one, I had to get a job. So I was still looking for a job. And one of those things where... You know, you hear people talk about take the leap of faith. And yes, it is exactly that. It is a leap of faith. Sometimes you're going to jump and the parachute is going to open and you're going to glide and you may land with a little rough hitting the ground. But sometimes you're going to fall face first and hit your head on the concrete and your nose is going to bleed and it's going to be painful. That's just the reality. But understand that within that pain, there is a lesson. And one of the biggest lessons that I learned is have a better plan in place if you want to do such a thing because um, you never know how you're going to land, right? So sometimes you need a parachute for the parachute. And even in addition to the parachute, you may need a paramedic or at least a a Band-Aid to patch yourself up from that nasty spill that you may take. So I spent about three months just shooting out my resume every day, 15 to 30 resumes every day. Three months straight, like a job. Monday through Friday, I was sending out resumes. And after doing that for several months, I was fortunate to get a call back for two positions. And I got offered a job the same day for two different positions. And uh, I went with a company that had the bigger name because I thought that it would be more longevity there, which it turned out to be correct. Um, but then because of my mindset, right, 
I was just as miserable in the new job as what I was in the old job. And in addition to being miserable, I still had to provide for other people. So sometimes when you're looking for that external relief, the job or the money is not going to change your situation. Because you can make the money, but if your mindset, if something within you does not sit right, no matter what environment you're in, you have to visit what means the most to you. Because no matter where you go and what you do, if what matters most to you is not part of your daily goal, you're always going to feel that sense of frustration. For me, taking care of my family is the goal. Providing for your family is your goal. And check this out. So once I got into the other job and I was frustrated, I was speaking to a person that was older than me, more seasoned, and they said to me, I said, how did you manage to survive here so many years? They said the 15th and the 30th. And I'm like, what? The paydays. We get paid twice a month. The 15th and the 30th. What happens in the everyday doesn't really matter to me. I clock in at the beginning of my shift. I clock out at the end of my shift. When I leave work, whatever's at work stays at work. Right? I'm only focusing on my check. Sometimes when you're going through the hard times, you're thinking about the wrong things. If you're able to provide for your family, although it may not be enough, at least you're able to provide something. If you're frustrated and you're going through something that's tough, you have the option of saying, Things are going to get better. This is a moment. This is a challenging moment. What am I learning from this experience? It's like taking a cold shower. You heard me say this before. Getting a cold shower. When the water first hits you, you're going to go into shock. It's going to be like, whoa, what is this? But then after a while, when that water starts to hit your body, what does your body do? What does your mind do? It's not even your body. What does your mind do? Your mind adapts to the temperature of the water. And automatically, the inside of your body is hotter, so you're going to condition yourself to that state. And that's what the tough times is. The tough times is learning to condition yourself or learning to adapt to a particular moment and situation and figure out how you're going to get through it. The hard times and the challenges will always be there. It's not going to be easy. But you can adapt. It's the way we're created. No other individual can adapt the way that humans adapt. We can handle all types of conditions. You have to look inside and see what means most to you and focus on that. Not on the pain, not on the hard time. Because it's all temporary. So if you're going through something, remember, it's temporary. Embrace your mindset. Focus on what means the most to you. And you'll be all right. This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best.